Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from You Get Tech. For this unboxing video today, I have a special guest, my son, who also has his own YouTube channel. Uh, he'll be helping me unbox this phone, which he will get as his birthday gift. Well, early birthday gift. Thanks for inviting me, Dad Got Tech, and thank you for that fan's birthday gift. Alright, let's get this special unboxing started. Okay, go ahead and open your phone. Having a hard time? Yes. Alright, that's the phone. Uh, let's set it aside for now and let's see what else is in the box. Alright, that's your SIM ejector tray. Uh, looks to be a free case. Let's see what's on what's the case. Do you like those free cases, Mystics Echo? Yes. Are you gonna use it? Or are you gonna use a different case? I'm gonna use this. Okay, alright. Put that aside. So what else do you have? Okay, you've got the supercharged uh, charging brick. 22.5 watts if I'm correct. And what else is in the box? Okay, for this one you've got the purple uh, USB-C. The USB A, and luckily you also get a USB C headphones. Because unfortunately, guys, this phone does not come with a headphone jack. All right, so we've got all the contents of the box out of the way. Let's put those aside. Put that aside. Put this phone in front here. Okay, over five D. Yep, sorry about that guys, set that aside for now. Alright, so let's power up the phone, uh, Mystics Echo, all yours. Okay, um, at first glance, you've got the power button, it also serves as your fingerprint. So you don't have the fingerprint sensor at the back, you don't have it in screen, but it's here on the side. So it's a power button combination fingerprint sensor. Which does make sense because it's, um, the way you hold the phone, you can set it up to recognize your thumb. So that's in the right place. And okay, let's go ahead and go complete the initial setup. In terms of views, we mix. Insert the SIM card, let's skip that for now, data import, uh, let's skip that, let's connect to the network, so I'll pause the video here guys, hang on. Okay, so I've connected to the Wi-Fi network, let's go next, it's going to check for an update, take a few minutes, just a second, so yeah, let's just take this screen off for now, put that aside. And let's skip the account setup. Or, yeah, I can uh, set it up with my son's account. So, hang on, guys. Okay, so I think um, I noticed something here. It does have its own pre installed screen protector. So, I was uh, advised by the guy selling the phone just to remove the first layer. And it does have um, pre installed screen protector. Uh, I think it's a film type, not the tempered glass. So I already installed my uh, son's uh, Google account, or already uh, entered it. Let's go through the setup, Google Assistant, thanks. Uh, skip the Huawei ID and skip the cloud for now. Okay, let's try the fingerprint ID. Need to set a lock screen pin first, let's do that now. Alright, I put the pin in, so let's register a fingerprint. It's a weird experience to be honest. I'm not used to having... This is actually the first phone I've used that has the fingerprint on the side. Alright, let's 
Okay, uh, skip the face unlock. Uh, thanks. Join, update. Yeah, just enable it. Continue. I'm not sure if you noticed, guys. This has a punch hole, similar to what you get on the S10 and the S10 Plus, and even the latest Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, which came out. Uh, this actually, I actually like the punch hole at the sides, so similar. But the S10 and the S10 Plus have it on the right side. The, no the Huawei Nova 5P has it on the left, and the, the Note 10 has it on the on the center. So I'm not really a fan of that. All right, so let's go ahead and complete the setup, get the popular apps, and there you go. So I'm not sure if you noticed, guys, but this is the special uh, limited edition. I'm not sure if the camera can capture it, but it has kind of a holographic effect. So let's try out the fingerprint sensor now. Oh, it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's very, it's very fast. The Huawei Nova 5T seems familiar, that is because you have already seen it before. In a way, it's already in the market, just under a different name, the Honor 20. Yes, the Nova 5T is the Honor 20, but with some changes externally and internally. Under the hood of the Nova 5T is the Cure 980. If it sounds familiar, it's the same uh, CPU that they're using on the Huawei P30 Pro and the Mate 20 Pro. So this is basically a flagship phone in a mid-range body and a mid-range mid price. So it has the Mali G76 uh, GPU and it, it's, it also has the 8GB of RAM and 128 storage on this variant that I have. On the left is a tray for the dual nano size SIM cards. While on the right are the volume rocker, the power lock button that also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Found up top is the secondary microphone, the light sensor, while well, down at the bottom is the main microphone, the USB Type-C, and the loudspeaker. Sorry guys, no headphone jack on this one, but Huawei was kind enough to include the USB-C type headphones, so you're not going to be miss out, missing out much on that. The Huawei Nova 5T is equipped with four rear cameras, so looking from top to bottom you've got the 16 megapixel ultra wide. The 48 megapixel main, uh, 2 megapixel depth assist, and we've got a dedicated uh, macro camera here. It's uh, off to the side, so it's not in the main arrangement. So this is only 2 megapixels. The Nova 5T is equipped with the 3750 mAh battery, which is a decent capacity. For pricing, the Nova 5T is available for 18,890 Philippine pesos which converts to approximately 370 US dollars. That's pretty cheap. In comparison, I've got the Huawei P30 Pro here in the 256 version and this one starts off at $899. So for almost a $500 difference, you're getting very similar experiences. Only difference of course is you've got the 50 times telephoto zoom uh, on the Huawei P30 Pro. But of course, that's not optical, that, that's digital. So I'll be doing an in-depth comparison between these two phones. Uh, you can see the initial uh, size comparison between the two. So I've got the uh, P30 Pro here and the Nova 5T here. So weight-wise, it's um, almost the same. But if you have um, the uh, Amber Sunrise version of this one, which comes with the 512 gig, that's going to set you back a lot more. That, that's hitting the $1,000 mark. Alright, so this is a quick comparison for now. Let's just check out the cameras. Okay, let's take a quick photo of the P30 Pro. And you've got the wide. So is this a good bang for the buck phone? Well, I'm gonna hand it over to my son who's going to be playing mostly games on the phone. So I'll uh, get his feedback from him next week and I'll get back to you guys. So till here, I'll end this quick unboxing video. As always guys, like and subscribe to my channel. And also subscribe to my channel, Mystics Echo. Yep, and we'll see you all on my next one.